the name Atom applies to a pair of related web standards. The Atom syndication format is an XML language used for web feeds, while the Atom publishing protocol is a simple HTTP-based protocol for creating and updating web resources. Web feeds allow software programs to check for updates published on a website. To provide a web feed, the site owner may use specialized software that publishes a list of recent articles or content in a standardized, machine-readable format. The feed can then be downloaded by programs that use it, like websites that syndicate content from the feed, or by feed reader programs that allow Internet users to subscribe to feeds and view their content. A feed contains entries, which may be headlines, full-text articles, excerpts, summaries, and all links to content on the website, along with various metadata. The Atom format was developed as an alternative to RSS. Ben Trott, an advocate of the new format that became Atom, believed that RSS had limitations and flaws a euro such as lack of ongoing innovation and its necessity to remain backward compatible a euro, and that there were advantages to a fresh design. Proponents of the new format formed the IETF Atom Publishing Format and Protocol Work Group. The Atom syndication format was published as an IETF proposed standard in RFC 4287, and the Atom Publishing Protocol was published as RFC 5023. Usage Web feeds are used by the blogging community to share recent entries headlines, full text, and even attached multimedia files. These providers allow other websites to incorporate the blog's syndicated headline or headline and short summary feeds under various usage agreements. Atom and other web syndication formats are now used for many purposes, including journalism, marketing, bug reports, or any other activity involving periodic updates or publications. Atom also provides a standard way to export an entire blog, or parts of it, for backup or for importing into other blogging systems. It is common to find web feeds on major websites, as well as many smaller ones. Some websites let people choose between RSS or Atom formatted web feeds. Others offer only RSS or only Atom. In particular, many blog and wiki sites offer their web feeds in the Atom format. A feed reader or aggregator program can be used to check feeds and display new articles. Client-side readers may also be designed as standalone programs or as extensions to existing programs like web browsers. Web-based feed readers and news aggregators require no software installation and make the user's feeds available on any computer with web access. Some aggregators syndicate web feeds into new feeds, for example, taking all football-related items from several sports feeds and providing a new football feed. Atom compared to RSS 2.0, when Atom emerged as a format intended to rival or replace RSS, Connect described the motivation of its creators as follows, Winer's opponents are seeking a new format that would clarify RSS ambiguities, consolidate its multiple versions, expand its capabilities, and fall under the auspices of a traditional standards organization. A brief description of some of the ways Atom 1.0 differs from RSS 2.0 has been given by Tim Bray, who played a major role in the creation of Atom. Equals content model equals, RSS 2.0 may contain either plain text or escaped HTML as a payload, with no way to indicate which of the two is provided. Atom, on the other hand, provides a mechanism to explicitly and unambiguously label the type of content being provided by the entry and allows for a broad variety of payload types including plain text, escaped HTML, XHTML, XML, base64 encoded binary, and references to external content such as documents, video, audio streams, and so forth. Equals date formats equals, the RSS 2.0 specification relies on the use of RFC 822 formatted timestamps to communicate information about when items in the feed were created and last updated. The Atom Working Group chose instead to use timestamps formatted according to the rules specified by RFC 3339. Equals internationalization equals, while the RSS vocabulary has a mechanism to indicate a human language for the feed, there is no way to specify a language for individual items or text elements. Atom, on the other hand, 
uses the standard XML, lang attribute to make it possible to specify a language context for every piece of human readable content in the feed. Atom also differs from RSS in that it supports the use of internationalized resource identifiers, which allow links to resources and unique identifiers to contain characters outside the US ASCII character set. Equals modularity equals, the elements of the RSS vocabulary are not generally reusable in other XML vocabularies. The Atom syntax was specifically designed to allow elements to be reused outside the context of an Atom feed document. For instance, it is not uncommon to find Atom, link elements being used within RSS 2.0 feeds. Barriers to adoption Despite the emergence of Atom as an IETF proposed standard and the decision by major companies such as Google to embrace Atom, use of the older and better known RSS formats has continued. There are several reasons to this. RSS 2.0's support for enclosures led directly to the development of podcasting. While many podcasting applications, such as iTunes, support the use of Atom 1.0, RSS 2.0 remains the preferred format. Many sites choose to publish their feeds in only a single format. For example, CNN and the New York Times offer their web feeds only in RSS 2.0 format. News articles about web syndication feeds have increasingly used the term RSS to refer generically to any of the several variants of the RSS format such as RSS 2.0 and RSS 1.0 as well as the Atom format. Development history equals background equals before the creation of Atom the primary method of web content syndication was the RSS family of formats. Members of the community who felt there were significant deficiencies with this family of formats were unable to make changes directly to RSS 2.0 because the official specification document stated that it was purposely frozen to ensure its stability. Equals initial work equals, in June 2003, Sam Ruby set up a wiki to discuss what makes a well-formed log entry. This initial posting acted as a rallying point. People quickly started using the wiki to discuss a new syndication format to address the shortcomings of RSS. It also became clear that the new format could form the basis of a more robust replacement for blog editing protocols such as the Blogger API and LiveJournal XML RPC client server protocol as well. The project aimed to develop a web syndication format that was 100% vendor neutral, implemented by everybody, freely extensible by anybody and, cleanly and thoroughly specified. In short order, a project roadmap was built. The effort quickly attracted more than 150 supporters, including David Seifrey of Technorati, Mena Trot of Six Apart, Brad Fitzpatrick of Live Journal, Jason Shallon of Blogger, Jeremy Zawadny of Yahoo, Timothy Apnell of the O'Reilly Network, Glenn Otis Brown of Creative Commons and Lawrence Lessig. Other notable supporting Atom include Mark Pilgrim, Tim Bray, Aaron Swartz, Joey Ito, and Jack Park. Also, Dave Weiner, the key figure behind RSS 2.0, gave tentative support to the new endeavor. After this point, discussion became chaotic, due to the lack of a decision-making process. The project also lacked a name, tentatively using Pi, Echo, Atom, and, whatever before settling on Atom. After releasing a project snapshot known as Atom 0.2 in early July 2003, discussion was shifted off the wiki. Equals Atom 0.3 and adoption by Google equals, the discussion then moved to a newly set up mailing list. The next and final snapshot during this phase was Atom 0.3, released in December 2003. This version gained widespread adoption in syndication tools and in particular it was added to several Google-related services, such as Blogger, Google News, and GMAIL. Google's data API's data are based on Atom 1.0 and RSS 2.0. Equals Atom 1.0 and IETF standardization equals, in 2004, discussions began about moving the project to a standards body such as the World Wide Web Consortium or the Internet Engineering Task Force. The group eventually chose the IETF and the Atompub working group was formally set up in June 2004, finally giving the project a charter and process. The Atompub working group is co-chaired by Tim Bray and Paul Hoffman. 
initial development was focused on the syndication format. The Atom syndication format was issued as a proposed standard in IETF RFC 4287 in December 2005. The co-editors were Mark Nottingham and Robert Zare. This document is known as a TOMPOP format in IETF's terminology. The Atom Publishing Protocol was issued as a proposed standard in IETF RFC 5023 in October 2007. Two other drafts have not been standardized. Example of an Atom 1.0 feed, an example of a document in the Atom syndication format. Equals including in HTML equals, the following tag should be placed into the head of an HTML document to provide a link to an Atom feed. See also, H Atom a Euro micro format for marking up HTML so that Atom feeds can be derived from it, channel definition format a Euro an early feed format developed before Atom and RSS. Content Management Interoperability Services a Euro provides an extension to Atom Pub for content management, list of content syndication markup languages, open data protocol a Euro a set of extensions to Atom Pub developed by Microsoft, SORD, Web Syndication, XML Shareable Playlist Format. References External links, Atom Standard, RFC 4287 a Euro the Atom Syndication Format. RFC 5023 a Euro the Atom Publishing Protocol, Atom Advocacy slash Evangelism, Atom Enable.org a Euro an unofficial website following the Atom project, Atom Syndication Format a Euro Introduction a Euro Overview, Comparison of RSS and Atom Web Feed Formats, the Atom API a Euro XML.com column by Mark Pilgrim, Getting to Know the Atom Publishing Protocol a Euro IBM Developer Works article by James Snell, Atom Landscape Overview A Euro Overview of Atom Related IETF Standards and Drafts, Atom Publishing Protocol and Atom Syndication Format A Euro Tutorial on Atom Publishing Protocol and Atom Syndication Format, Atom History and Motivation, Anatomy of a Well Formed Log Entry A Euro The Web Log Post That Started It All, Why We Need Echo A Euro Motivation and Goals of the Atom Project, Atom Working Group Links Atom Wiki a Euro the main place for work on Atom. Atom Protocol mailing list a Euro WG discussion of the publishing protocol, Atom Syntax mailing list a Euro WG discussion of the syndication format, IETF Atom Publishing Format and Protocol Working Group, Atom Extension Standards, IANA Registry of Link Relations a Euro Official Registry of Atom, Link Element Rel Attribute Values, RFC 4685 a Euro Atom Threading Extensions, RFC 4946 a Euro Atom License Extension, RFC 5005 a Euro Feed Paging and Archiving, H Atom a Euro a Microformat for marking up standard HTML such that an Atom feed can be derived from it. Deepak Pujari. Read Atom with PHP.